why I'm so interested or why the reproductive health is really interested in the part of the induced abortion or the what is one of the biggest challenges or difficulties that the teachers encounter is lack of resources the teaching learning resources I know many teachers have gone out of their way to try and make use of the commonly available resources but still there are things that you cannot just teach using the local materials. Secondly, the big numbers of learners vis-a-vis -vis understaffing. We are having a lot of students finding themselves in colleges where we teach and you find that in some instances you find 200 students for one teacher. The prostitutes. Design Without Borders collaborated with BTC, the Belgian Development Agency, um, and the Ministry of Education to redesign and package the Active Teaching and Learning Manual. And the goal is really for teachers to use this material in a pedagogical way in their class. And we discovered that there was a quite a huge challenge uh, with a lot of content that was difficult to, to go through. ATL is a teaching approach that places the, the students at the center of, of the entire teaching and learning process, therefore making the teacher more of a facilitator and students become a bit more engaged in, in their learning and in basically being un understanding the content and being part of constructing the knowledge. Before this toolkit came up, we had a lot of material that would take someone a lot of time to read. And many times as you got into the reading, you would even get lost and you would need to revise or take a pen and do some rewriting of this work. Its major role is to improve the teaching and learning so that our students get the competences that the curriculum intends them to get. A competence is composed of three things. A student gets the skill of what he has learned, he gets the knowledge of what has been taught, and then he gets the right attitude of how to implement that knowledge or that skill while he's out of school. Or even when he's out of school, how he makes that knowledge useful to himself. So sections have been subdivided by use of color. And these colors are in correspondence or they are corresponding to the colors of the small, what I would call the small cards inside the, the, the kit. There is blue, there is red, and then there is also green, which shows you that you are moving from one section to another. And if you still feel like you are not understanding very well, a picture is enough to talk to you. And these cards are having this picture. There is learning contract, and you're seeing a student with their teacher shaking hands. It already gives you an idea of what to expect before you have even read through the book. Oh, if you read through the book and you want a small reminder, this card will remind you. We have heard some books indicating uh, these methods of teaching and learning. But this, has, this one has even some illustrations on what to do. So they are guiding principles on how one can use the teaching and learning um, approaches or methods indicated here. When I looked at the cards inside, eh, they are really small and they are easy to carry and they are summarized. So even when I'm preparing my lessons, I saw that I can have these cards with me and I'm preparing my lessons in a way that I can tell myself and I know that in a particular period, I will use a particular skill or I will use a particular technique, a method, and then thereafter, I can change to another one. As a teacher of mathematics for many years, who has been practicing ATL without knowing, find this uh, very exciting because um, I think I will not have any difficulty in identifying the methods that I need for certain uh, topics the corresponding techniques and the tools. So actually the work has been simplified for me. It is not useful to study by rote just. 
active teaching and learning came to try and strengthen inquiry learning. And actually, when you look at most of the methods looked at here, much as people mentioned all the other methods for ATL, here we focused on inquiry. And inquiry to encourage the students to become contributors of the knowledge so that they are more practical and useful and can be actually better teachers in the field. It's very important for us as designers to understand what the challenges of the teachers were. And so throughout the whole design process, we involve them and really understanding what are the challenges that they're facing, uh, what are their preferences, so that we could apply this to the new design and making this a very useful tool that could strengthen um, their classes and also the way that they plan their classes. In the future plan, we also believe the ministry is going to pick it up and then we retrain all our teachers in the country on active teaching and learning. For primary schools, still next year, we intend to train uh, the tutors who prepare teachers in primary teachers' colleges so that the active teaching and learning can also flow with the pre-service teachers in the primary teachers' colleges. And therefore, we believe in the next two to three years, every teacher in this country should have had a dose of active teaching and learning methods, approaches, and therefore we improve the teaching and learning in the entire country.